Former sportscaster Don Tollefson is sentenced to prison time for selling bogus sports packages all in the name of charity. I want to see supporter Matt Rivers was in the courtroom when that sentence was handed down and he joins us now live from the Bucks County Justice Center in Doylestown. Matt. Jess Tollefson received a sentence of two to four years in state prison, followed by 15 years of probation. He was also ordered to repay nearly $165,000 in restitution. Don Tollison was charged with defrauding nearly 200 people, including charities. He sold them things like Super Bowl tickets and trips to Eagles games, but never delivered on any of it. Wednesday, prosecutors were pleased with the judge's ruling. Is to get him incarcerated so he can start paying restitution, even if it means he's making license plates for 50 cents an hour. Several people made victim impact statements before the court Wednesday, using words like vile and despicable to describe Tollefson's actions. One of those people was Cindy Moffitt. It's really not about the money anymore, it's the principle. As long as he can't do it to anybody else anymore, then justice really has been served. Tollison spoke on his own behalf Wednesday. He said he'd made poor decisions due to a drug and alcohol addiction and took responsibility for the crimes. Also testifying, a psychologist who said Tollison told him he'd been sexually abused by his mother, forced to sleep in her bed until he was 16. He said Tollison's mental problems could stem from that. The judge could have handed down a far harsher sentence, but chose not to. Justice needs to be measured and it needs to be balanced. One of the groups Tollefson scammed was the Brad Fox Foundation, a charity named for a fallen police officer. That officer's parents were not happy with the sentence. It's, it's disappointing for them and, and, and they, feel, they don't feel that justice was served today. And with good behavior and considering time already served in jail, Tollefson could get out of prison in as little as 14 months. We're live in Doylestown, Bucks County. Matt Rivers, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you very much.